Let's take a look at evaluating functions using the table method on HP Prime Graph and Calculator. Let's look at our first problem here. We got f of x is equal to 3x minus 4, and we want to find f of 2. Now, um, on our calculator, if you uh, press apps, you can go to function and press enter. Now, I should throw you in the uh, function symbolic view, or you can push this symbol button right here if you don't see this. We'll put in our 3x minus 4. Press enter. Now we'll go to our table. Um, and your table may or may not be set up for this. But if I click the num button here, mine is currently set up for this. Um, let's go and double check yours. Make sure it is. Do a shift num. You only have to do this one time and it stays that way. If I down arrow, See where it says uh, num type? Um, this is where you pick uh, what type you want. And if I do this drop down, see there's automatic, which yours may be set as. And there's um, build your own. You want to choose build your own. Now, after you get that chose, then click num again. And you'll be back here. You may or may not have numbers here. Don't really worry about it if you do or don't. Because uh, as you type in your new ones, it'll overwrite the old ones. So I want to find f of 2. So put 2 in and press enter. And that gives us 2. Uh, the, what's in our f1 is our answer. Let's look at a second one of those. We've got f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 over x plus 3. And we want to find f of 7. Well, first thing we need to do is plug it into our calculator. Typically, it's a good idea, whenever you have more than a single number or single variable on top or bottom of your fraction, numerator or denominator, you put parentheses around that part. So we're going to put parentheses around the top, parentheses around the bottom. Some calculators, this is necessary that you do it. So let's enter this in. I'm going to go back to my symbol. Um, I can press my delete to clean that out. Then I'll push my parentheses button, and it puts on both sets there. So then we'll do x squared, so x, x key, the x squared, uh, minus 4. Now my cursor is inside the parentheses. Now I'm going to do my right arrow key to move it outside the parentheses, divided by. Now notice it puts it all on the bottom now. I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses there for good form. I don't think you need them, though. Uh, when you put in x plus 3, it ought to already be in the denominator. And then I'll do my x plus 3. And then press enter. Okay, so that's our function. Now we're going to go back to our table. So I'll press my num. And I'm finding f of 7. So I'll type 7 and press enter. And that gives me 4.5. Now if I did this by hand, if I plugged 7 in for x, I'd have 7 squared minus 4 over 7 plus 3. So we'd have 49 minus 4 over 10. 49 minus 4 is 45 over 10, which would give us our 4.5. Um, now this reduces um, top and bottom both of those by 5, so that gives me 9 halves. You can see there's a little bit of a problem with the, using the table here, is this gives it to, to us in decimal form. If we want fraction, then it's not so easy to get. I have not figured out a way to convert this to a, uh, to a fraction. Uh, if there is a way, um, I mean, which is possible, I'm definitely not an expert on HP Prime. I couldn't figure it out. Now we're going to see later on that there's another way of evaluating functions where you don't end up with decimals. So there's a better way anyway. To get out of this, you can press Escape, and I'll take you eh, you're online. Yeah, but over here, okay, I had to be in the first column to hit Escape. That's interesting, and it throws you back here. Or you can press Apps and go back to your your main menu. Anyway, that's evaluating uh, functions on the HP Prime uh, calculator using the table.